Congratulations on a really wonderful um, Thanks a lot. and unique film. Thanks a lot. Maybe you could start by introducing synonyms a little bit for people who don't know anything about the film and where you got the idea for it and what, what this title might mean. Uh, synonyms is a film about a young Israeli guy who appears uh, one day in Paris. Uh, with a basic notion of French language without uh, knowing everyone, without having any uh, concrete uh, plan for his future. Apart from the huge uh, 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 plan to, to, to run away from his, to detach himself from his uh, previous identity, from the Israeli identity, and uh, to become uh, French. So to die in, is in Israeli and to be reborn as a, as a French, to live and die in Paris and to be buried in Père Lachaise Cemetery, as he said. Uh, and from, from this moment on, I think in a very um, instinctive way, I understand that this detachment must be a very harsh and violent one. I mean, it wouldn't be enough just to take a flight. Uh, in order to tear yourself from your past, from your roots, uh, you must, you must, you must go uh, very far. So, 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 so he refuses to 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 talk in Hebrew. He, I mean, he give he give away, he give up all the words he knew, and now he needs new words, and the new words will be in French, and there will be synonyms. So he finds himself uh, walking in the streets of Paris, uh, mumbling synonyms. And you can imagine that this person who was walking in the streets of Paris and mumbling synonyms was uh, myself about uh, 17 years ago, um, around the year of 2000, or 19 years already, well, time passes quickly. Uh, around the year of 2000, I myself I landed in Charles de Gaulle Airport. I was about one year, one year and a half after the end of uh, almost four years of military service. Uh, afterwards, I've done, uh, studied philosophy in Tel Aviv University, wrote articles, articles for fashionable uh, newspapers, wrote some novels, partying, drinking, life was beautiful. And then, more or less one day, I suddenly had any kind of, I don't know, illumination. You know, understood, I heard the uh, strange divine God, uh, voices who told me uh, leave Israel, run away and uh, save your soul and never come back. And uh, a few days later I found myself uh, in Paris uh, determined to become French. Uh, you can see the, the failure of the success and the success of the success and the failure of this project in the movie. Mm. Talk to me about this incredible cast, this sort of triangle of characters um, between Johan Vermeil and Caroline and Tom Mercier that you've got as uh, particularly brings such a such commitment to the role but also something very unique in this kind of intensity but also kind of comedy in the quirkiness of the character um, but then equally the chemistry on, on screen between him and Quentin and Louise is, is very palpable. So how did you come across these three actors and how did you work with them to get this to work in the way you want it? So <coughs> Tom, uh, Tom Arcia, the main actor, uh, the, first, uh, the first scene of the movie uh, was his first uh, sh shooting day. He didn't have any, any experience, he was a student in a kind of a conservatory of uh, acting. Uh, we made kind of uh, regular auditions. You know, there are so many legends about auditions in the history of cinema that it became almost a cliche. To, but his audition, I'm, throughout the film, I hoped all the time that the film will be at least as powerful as his audition. I mean, uh, his audition was so so unique because I think that it combined already the two things that that characterize him. On the one hand, 
crazy obsession for the slightest de details, and on the other hand, total liberty. And this this combination, I think it's. I, you know, I've seen some actors in my life, never seen such a thing. And and yeah, there there was a certain moment. Uh, this is, I think, maybe the 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 the, 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 the anxiety, but at the same time, the 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 the, the secret hope of each director that I felt that he knows that my film better than I do. Uh, because it was digging, digging inside, digging inside. It went as deep as possible. And then we, we, and it was, it was a little bit like you have in the movie, uh, 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 so vivid, so, uh, so uh, full of Im imagination, so free, so innocent, so in ignorant, so naive, uh, 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 so sensible, so fragile, so violent. Everything together. And then we, we let him. We, we, create this meeting um, like in the movie with these two young French actors that uh, have his age but are so different from him. They're, I mean they're, they have much more experience, much more culture, they are already main actors in uh, films of uh, renowned uh, French auteurs. Louis played in a um, Philippe Garel movie, uh, Canton played in a lot de Pléchamp movie. And the first rehearsal, you know, it was so fascinating because it was exactly the dynamic of the movie. On one hand, he was like, uh, like in the first scene of the movie, he was a little bit like a naked baby comparing to them. On the other hand, they didn't know what to do with him. I mean, I mean, he brought like, 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 you know, imagination, energy, freedom that they didn't know how to deal with him. It was such a challenge for them. I mean, he didn't know anything, but he was c capable of everything. Uh, yeah. You seem to have such a specific um, way of capturing each of the scenes, such bold images. Some things can seem quite bizarre, uh, maybe surreal. So how do you characterize your filmmaking style and what are you trying to do in that respect? Is it almost like a visual poetry of some kind, whereas you can kind of take different interpretations? I'm trying, I'm trying to, to go as deep as I can to the naked truth of the moment. And, and while going there, I'm trying to involve uh, everything I have in hands, which means actors, camera, sound, art, costume, everything, mise en scène. And, uh, and, and you know, I, I never understood this concept, which is so typical to cinema, that huge, I don't know, emotional turmoil has happened to the characters, and the camera is standing, uh, you know, aside like this, or the crew is standing there. And and, and shooting it as if it was, I mean, I don't understand why if it's a dance, the camera is not dancing. It might dance its own dance. Maybe the dance of the camera and the dance of the character will be a totally different dance. Maybe the result will be the, 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 the exactly this, this, the, the, this conflict between the, these two sort of dances. But, uh, but I think that, 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 that I always try, for instance, to direct the, cam the, the cameraman, the DP. I think that the, 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 the emotions that the, the, and, the, and, the, and the thoughts and the, and, the, and the feelings that pass through the body of this, the DP arrives to his hand and then arrive to the camera, it's as influential as the, what happens to the, to the, in the body of the characters. And, you know, there's tragedy, there's comedy, there's themes of identity, there's sexuality, passion, lust. You know, what do you think people are going to take away from the film? And what do you hope people to feel when they leave the cinema? What was the, the end of the question? How do you, want, do you expect people will feel when they leave the cinema? I think that, you know, I mean... I, I hope that the film uh, uh, succeed to grasping the chaos of existence. I think that very often, you know, we are all aware of the fact that existence is 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 chaotic, and then we look for very for a piece of art that will that will make it more. Uh, we put an order in this, and since I'm really obsessed with, as I said, with the truth of this actual moment. 
Thorn trying to put inside chaos and you know I mean I mean the chaos of existence is, is the combination of a lot of things it's the combination of good ideas and uh, bad intentions it's a combination of uh, of uh, terrible words and beautiful faces it's a combination of uh, of uh, of uh, Fragility with uh, muscles and violent uh, body, and 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 so I hope, I hope in a way that if you if you succeed to 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 reconstruct all of this, you can talk about whatever you want. I mean, and whatever appears in the movie, identity, uh, but with the complexity. That real mm. life demands you to. And then, can you quickly tell me what you might be working on next? And I was also curious if you'd seen and what you thought of the r- new version of the kindergarten teacher with Sarah Calangelo ah. and Maggie Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Uh, so let's begin with the new version of the kindergarten teacher. I mean, I, I'm, 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 first of all, of all, I must say I wasn't at all involved in this. Yeah. I mean. I got an email, I wrote whatever, I signed whatever I had to sign and, and I was very happy. Since, since I'm, a, I'm a true believer in, the, in directors, so I felt in a way, it's not mine, it's Sarah Colangelo movie. And watching the movie, I, I, I think it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very interesting ex- exercise because, because you see two movies who have exactly the same scripts. Uh, really, the same dialogues, the same, everything is the same, the same scenes, but are totally, totally different, I think. I think they're totally different, not only in their style, but totally different in their, 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 in their, their, their ambitions, in what they want to talk about. Uh, I think that the, 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 the American remake is a, is a great portrait of, uh, of a specific the character of this woman, skin line teacher, while mine is uh, an attempt to grasp uh, the presence. Um, what am I working about next? Uh, a new movie, this time in Israel. Um, let's see. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that with us, and congratulations again on a really incredible film, and good luck for the rest of your time in Berlin. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.